So this is gonna be a quick video about how to build a Workmate 225 from Black & Decker. I built a few of these in the past, like the 125 and the 425, and this is the kind of middle version, the 225. If you know anything about these, or as you might be experiencing right now, the instructions for these can be problematic. So this video will step-by-step -step show how to build one of these. Here are all the parts. There's not much to it. I would just say, make sure that you recognize that these two black pieces are different than these two black pieces. That causes a lot of confusion. And then understand that these boards are oriented differently from one another. So you wanna be careful how you install them. Uh, those are the two things that can cause a lot of frustration. Also lining up these pieces right here, but we'll walk through it and try to minimize some of the pain. For the sake of simplicity, I'll try to follow the manual loosely, but the manuals tend to be pretty useless. I will also try to keep everything roughly oriented in the same way as the manual. Again, just to keep things as simple as possible. Now the first step they say is to pop out those four feet on the bottom, just to give you a stable working surface. Now you wanna click out the upper portion and separate it out from the lower portion. Use the little buttons right here and right here. And now push this back. Okay, the next step is really confusing, but you wanna get these two parts. They mentioned a washer. You don't need the washer right now. We'll save that in a minute. Basically, you wanna thread this piece this threaded rod into this piece. It's a reverse thread, so you're inevitably gonna screw it the wrong way for a minute, but turn that around, do it counterclockwise, screw it in, and screw it about halfway down, and then again, keep that washer, and there's gonna be a use for that in a minute. Do that whole thing two times. Okay, now we're gonna get this threaded rod and this white piece here and we're gonna get the washer, put it on the end, have it get stopped by this little piece right here, that little T right there. Now get the whole apparatus, put it under this metal piece, slide it forward until it comes out here. And this little piece right here is going to be able to slide through this notch right here. Nothing is really holding it in now, so just kind of set it down, leave it for a moment. Now you're gonna get one of the handle pieces and one of these little friction fit pins. Notice that the pins are notched on one side. That's the side that's gonna get pushed in. Don't try it with the other side, which is square or flat, whatever, and which you won't get very far. I wanna line that up. So this is flush, put this on here, line up the hole in the threaded rod with the hole in this, and now insert this piece into the hole. And you'll know when you have it, which it won't be able to twist the threaded rod. Now they say you should hit this friction piece with a hammer. I would say you could do that. I have done it in the past. It's easier to squeeze this with some sort of plier. I like these 12 inch crescent wrenches or channel locks, whatever you wanna call it. You don't need something this big, but if you have to fix any toilets or anything like that, you might have one of these. Basically, you wanna just squeeze this piece into place. It's a lot easier than hitting it with a hammer. Now it's locked down and you're good to go. This piece is essentially flush. Now you get this piece, this is the handle, and you're gonna pop that in here. This could require a little bit of pressure, but you should be able to do it. So now that's set. You wanna repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, so now things are going to get really confusing and the instructions will become borderline useless. You wanna get this piece right here, flat on the bottom with one piece sticking up. And you wanna put that here, do the same with this piece, it's the same piece on the other side. And now of the two boards, get the one that says Workmate 225. It's flat on this side 
and it's a V shape on this side. This is the interior. The V shape is the interior. You're going to put this on here, lining up that hole with the plastic piece. It's going to go in the bottom left and the bottom right. Okay, the next step is very confusing as well. You're going to get these bolts. You have four of them. Put it in this hole right here, the one that has space around it where you can screw in and you want to use this. This is essentially your driver. You're going to put this in here. It'll fit nicely and you'll be able to twist this. You'll notice there's nothing to thread into. What you want to thread into is this white piece on the bottom right here. The instructions do not make this clear at all. So we'll get this white piece and we'll screw it out until it lines up with this hole right here. Again, this is a little bit confusing and you have to move all this stuff out of the way. So here's the white piece. You'll notice it's threaded. Here's the bolt. You're going to place this on top of here. Maybe a little tricky to line up. It's caught. Now you want to use this or use a socket that you have and screw it down nice and tight. Repeat that for the other side. The end result will be that this piece slides. So hopefully that helps make things clear is basically those black pieces are the slider. The white piece is what allows the threaded rod to move everything forward and back. Okay. So now we're going to get the other piece of wood. That's this right here. The one that says black and Decker on it. And we're going to install it on this slider. This is the slider with the little T shape here and the one piece sticking up. This piece that sticks up, that goes in the back. The T-shape will go in the front. The T-shape goes down. Basically, the T-shape slides into these notches right here, and it goes here, and you'll see how these get narrower. When it's slid in, it can't pull up. That means that back shelf is essentially adjustable. You could open the vise further by moving the back piece further back. So you'll put this here. We'll use the last one for reference and you'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, the, this piece that sticks up, that is in the back. We'll place this here. We'll line up this hole with the piece that sticks up the furthest hole with the piece that sticks up. Now we'll get the last two bolts. So that bolt goes into the front hole again, the wider one, and it'll thread directly into the black slider. That's a little confusing because in the front, it doesn't thread into the slider. It threads into that white piece in the back. You don't have a white piece. So this is not adjustable using the handles. So it threads into the slider. And now you want to be careful. Don't over tighten this one, which you're just threading it into plastic. You're going to repeat that on the other side. The furthest back hole has that piece sticking up the front hole, the one with the extra width, you're going to line up. The bolt will go through. You can feel the bolt catch. You'll tighten it down. And now you can see how this operates. You pull it forward, then you could pick it up. And now you can move it a little bit closer to your work, push it back to lock it. And if you need them really close, you could put this in the furthest most position and you can, and you could use this to clamp things down. Okay. At this point you can install these dogs. These are not, it's not like an install. You just pop them in place like this and you can just pop them in. There's a bunch of holes for them and you could put them however you want. Helps if they're consistent. And basically now you can say, move this here, move this here. And say you need to hold a piece of wood like this. You could squeeze that down if you want. Okay. The last step is collapsing it. If you'd like, you're basically going to get these little spring buttons here. One's right here. One is right here. And you want to be careful your fingers and thumbs. There's a lot of pinch points on this. Pull those up and you'll see this piece will go ahead and move down, fold that, fold that. And if you fold all four feet, you should be able to get this in the back of your car. No problem. So, that's it. It's how you build a Black & Decker Workmate 225. Thanks for watching.